Now, in a moment, I'm going to share with you exclusively some polling that shows us where the public is when it comes to the issue of women and girls competing against trans competitors, competitors who are biological males. Now, this issue has received a lot of attention in recent times, as you know. There was Australian rules footballer Hannah Mouncey and the safety concerns about her playing in the women's competition. New Zealand transgender athlete Laurel Hubbard competed controversially in the women's weightlifting at the Tokyo Olympics. And now Leah Thomas, who used to compete in male swimming events, has won a US National Women's Championship. And all of this has been highlighted in our election contest too, because the Liberal candidate for the seat of Warringah, Catherine Deves, is a prominent advocate who formed the group Save Women's Sport, specifically to protect the rights and safety of girls and women in sport. Now... I am the mother of three little girls and I'm of the view that uh, women and girls are, do have the right to have a dedicated female sports category uh, for fair, fair competition and player safety. And that is, that is a cause that's uh, dear to my heart. Now, Deves has attracted plenty of fire. The hard left hate this stuff. And the independent member for Warringah, Zali Stegel, has attacked her too. Which is kind of strange because as a successful Olympian skier, you'd think Stegel might not have been too happy if a biological male had beaten her into fourth place and out of her Olympic bronze medal. Mind you, Stegel seems to be getting very personal in her campaign, with her latest complaint being that her ex-husband's wife is helping out on Deve's Liberal campaign. Just why or how one person should think it's OK to dictate which campaign another person is allowed to join or support is beyond me. Deves, at the same time, has been forced to apologise for insensitive language in a social media post about transgender surgery for young people. And Labor, the Green Left Independents and, of course, the left media think this now is a vulnerability for the Liberals. But the PM is facing fallout from one of his pre-selection captain's picks in his home state of New South Wales. Late last year, Liberal candidate for Warringah, Catherine Deves, described trans kids as surgically mutilated and sterilised in now-deleted social media posts. She has withdrawn and apologised for those views. All right, so it's clear where the ABC stands on all this, but where is the public on these issues. You'd think they'd be with the rights of girls and women, wouldn't you? You'd think they'd be with Catherine Deves. Compass Polling's Opinion Tracker series has been looking at public attitudes and I can share the latest findings with you. This first graphic is about what is a woman? Is it a member of the female sex in blue or is it someone who identifies as a woman shown in red? And you can see for Labor and Greens voters on the left of screen the two uh, the 63% of people say it's about biology and a full 37% see it as identity. But on the right, the Liberal and One Nation voters fall st substantially more strongly in favour of biology over identity. Then there's the question of whether trans women, people who are biologically male, should be allowed to play in women's sport. Six months ago, on the left, two-thirds of people said no... And on the right, in the polling this month, that sentiment has only strengthened. And then people were asked whether there should be laws to protect girls and women from competing against biological males. In October, three quarters of people supported such laws. And in the polling this month, that's only strengthened again to nearly 80%. So it's pretty overwhelming. Now, interestingly on that, Liberal Senator for Tasmania, Claire Chandler, has got a private member's bill up before the Parliament to do just that. And one of the people she's worked with on that project is Catherine Deves, now the Liberal candidate for Warringah, of course. The Prime Minister has supported that private member's bill, although it won't be a government bill. More likely, a social issue like this will go to a conscience vote. So this is a fascinating issue and an important debate, not one for just silly abuse. The Liberals are not keen to encourage this debate. They don't want to distract from the economic and national security debate. So Deves is now not doing interviews. But I still reckon it's a timely and worthwhile discussion to have. And I reckon it's obvious that most voters in Warringah would agree with Deves on this rather than Stegall.